Hello again, Kons here. Today I have a pretty cool video for you. I've seen a lot of people asking about farming the dial wings. I think that's what they're called, the wing break parts. And uh, so that's what I have for you. You didn't miss much. I dicked around in camp eating food and doing stuff for like 20 or 30 seconds. So that's the reason I, I didn't start straight from the beginning. But yeah, the first thing I do is tenderize the wings. This can take a couple of times. It can try and hit you off or run or whatever. You can wait for a long opening or you can just kind of risk it like I did. Um, either way, it won't take you too many attempts. I do try to save my mantles, however. Uh, so that's the reason you see me not using them. Um, now make sure you ping your cat to get it close to you if it keeps trying to fight Alatreon and you want to lure it to the uh, to these pillars. But what you want to do is just flinch shot it twice. Make sure the wings are tenderized while you do this. Um, this is the reason I haven't used my mantle, by the way. Also, one, two, three, four, and on the fifth one it gets up. So if you time your, your claw shot really quickly, you see he did the lightning attack there, which normally knocks you off straight away, but I was able to, uh, to swing him around. But uh, yeah, this is kind of like a, a time waste. I'm not doing anything too crazy here. So I wanted to save my mantles for uh, for what I'm doing. Uh, when I sort of when he goes into rage mode. That's what this is for, by the way. I get a lot of part damage off. And I also get him into rage mode, which gives me the extra 20% damage. Which will make the wing breaks a bit easier. Um, if you're not aware, I'm using Frostcraft HBG. I'll talk about the set in, in a bit. I'll probably do that at the end of the video. I, I, I wasn't going to commentate this whole thing. I was just going to edit it just to the important bits. However, most of the run is important. Because basically there's always something weird going on. Or openings I'm taking advantage of. Um, or like where techniques I'm using. Um, you'll notice that I have sleep ammo, which we'll get to in a second. But uh, yeah, you can see I popped on my temporal mantle. I just keep uh, slugging onto those wings and popping them off. Uh, it's very standard. If you haven't seen the Frostcraft uh, Clutch Claw uh, HBG build, again, I'll talk about it in a second, but basically you run Frostcraft and just spam the <laughs> the uh, Clutch Claw attack with the heavy bow gun. Does a lot of damage. You can do see I'm doing roughly 600 per. Um, even though the hit zone isn't too great on the wings, uh, the tenderize keeps, them, uh, keeps the hit zone fairly reasonable. Um, you'll see the sort of openings that I go for. You do need to be careful. With Temporal, it's fairly easy. You're pretty much safe. But with Rocksteady, he can pin you if you're not safe. Also, I wanted to get Rocks here and I can never find them. I don't know why I wasn't paying attention to Alatreon. Don't do what I did. I actually keep an eye on it. But uh, yeah, I bring a Palico with a Paralysis weapon. I don't bring a Sleep weapon and you'll see why in a bit. Although it's not that important not to. Um, and you can see, I'm. by the way, I kind of completely forgot to, get men uh, forgot to mention. But I'm using the Plunder Blade and the Palarang as frequently as possible. I was actually commentating as I was doing this run, trying to do it in one go, but the commentary was useless and the run got kind of bad because of it. And so you'll see I kind of forget to use some of my cats, so I forget to pick up some of the shinies, or I make a couple of mistakes. Um, that's the reason. I was a little bit distracted. But uh, yeah, my Palico has a paralysis weapon on it. You can bring whatever you like. It's not it's not too important. The paralysis can be nice for, for breaking the horn. And so that's what we're doing here, basically, is we're using the, the claw attacks to destroy the wings over time. And don't worry if you're not that good at the claw. The uh, flint shots into the wall should do most of that damage. I do have part break on the set though. Um, but yeah, we're using that to break the wings. We're going to break the horn as well using a similar method um, once he goes into dragon mode. And we're also going to be collecting all of these shinies for like the shells and the mantles. Um, you can get a lot of things from the Palico. You can get the, the uh, rip claws or whatever they're called. You can get the, uh, the two basic drops and then the other. Oh, I accidentally pulled out my weapon here for some reason. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure why. But anyway, he's in dragon mode now. Um, now at this point, you can put him to sleep to take him out of uh, rage mode and then wake him up using just a stone or whatever you like lure, and he'll be out of rage mode. You can lure him to a pillar and finish him off. Um, what you got to do is just make sure the wings are tenderized and one more flint shot into the wall should definitely break them. Uh, if not, you can always do the second one. So you'll see that's what I'm doing now. Um, you do have to make sure his wings are tenderized. That's the reason I'm kind of taking this advantage here rather than going straight for the flint shot. And that's the reason I delayed my mental usage is I wanted to keep rock steady for this time here. Just because uh, it's a little bit easier to flinch on him while, while you have Rocksteady active. Although it is starting to run out. Um, this is a pretty good opening. You'll see I rem finally remember to pick up one of those shinies. Um, that attack I'm sure as you know is basically a death wish if you if he's in rage mode. But uh, yeah you see we've got the part break there. The wings are now completely shattered. Now his head at this point is completely safe to just claw onto, shoot and it should break. However I like to go for the second flint shot to get the extra shiny and the guaranteed break. Uh, unfortunately, he used an animation that kind of uh, cancels that. It doesn't allow it to happen. But uh, yeah, if you aren't going for the horn, you could have stopped the moment I uh, the moment I broke the, the wings. Um, and honestly, you could have used the uh, sleep ammo uh, and then it would have been even quicker. Unfortunately, he used an, he sort of moved his way away from the wall. So I gave up and I just did my shot to break the, uh, the horns. And so yeah, at this point, it's done. It's been, I think, something like three minutes and you really don't need to carry on. Uh, I wanted to just demonstrate a few things, which is the reason I keep going. Uh, first of all, I wanted to use the remaining Palarangs and stuff. And I also wanted to use my sleep ammo to put it to sleep, just to show that you get two more flint shots. 
The nice thing about that is you get two more shinies. However, I'm going to be honest with you. If at this point you've already broken the wings and the horn and you don't need to put it to sleep and flint shot it, uh, you might not even want to. There was a quick flash at the time. I was curious. Um, just because it's so much hassle and it's only two shinies, it's probably better to do it rather than not because then you'll get an extra Palarang or whatever. But really, it depends on how patient you are with Alatrion. Unfortunately, because I was commentating over this video, I completely forgot that um, I have Dragonflight. Uh, and so I waste too much of my sleep ammo. If you bring sleep to ammo on this, uh, uh, the combines for more, you'll, you'll, you won't have to worry about this kind of thing. But <laughs> yeah, that was kind of stupid of me. So anyway, th this, this run is kind of, kind of a flop. So what you'll notice is instead of using my sleep ammo early, I actually waited for him to de-enrage naturally. Because that way, if you mess up some of the flint shots, you can then put him to sleep immediately just to guarantee the, the wings and the horn breaks. Um, so yeah, this, this run went on a couple minutes more than it needed to do because I was trying to demonstrate stuff that I didn't get to in the end. There was a quick flash. I got three uh, shiny worth of materials. I got more shinies than that, but some of them were slinger ammo from the palico and some of them were the uh, dragon treasure or whatever that's called, the, the account item. But uh, yeah, fairly simple. You'll see the rewards. I got my Dire Wing and I got my... Uh, that can be a mantle, by the way, if you break the horn. That's the reason it can be useful. And then I got four more drops. Um, those were shells and mantles, but you can also get those uh, rip talons, I think they're called. Um, and so between you, you're basically getting everything except the tail, which is enough to make every weapon uh, that Alatrion has. It's not enough to make all the armor, but uh, there are ways to get tail runs as, as well. I might cover them at some point. And just to show you another run that I did, basically the same results. A Dire Wing, a horn drop, which can either be that horn or that mantle. Um, and then four drops, but you can see here I got the uh, the, the talent thing. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to confirm that you can get that. That run did take longer though because I was demonstrating some different stuff and uh, and I kind of screwed up something. But uh, but uh, yeah, at least it demonstrates that you can get that particular drop. So here is the first build I was using. This is the one that you saw on video. Uh, it uses the uh, Magda Heavy Bow Gun just to show you the ammo. You can get a Sleep 2 on that, which is the reason I was using it. Um, close range, I'll show you the Augments, Attack and Health Regen 1, very standard stuff. Um, you can see I have Frostcraft on this set, and then I just have sort of DPS, uh, comfortable skills like uh, uh, health boost and recovery up and that kind of thing. But then I also have a uh, crit draw, crit boost. Uh, basically the sort of uh, workhorse of this set. Part break is also really nice too to help break the horns. Yeah, it's it's and and the wings. It, it's very standard, very much what you'd expect from the uh, from the set. But hopefully this helps. You'll notice that I haven't put decorations in my mantles because I know a lot of you guys haven't got to that MR yet, especially because Alatrion's a, a 24 hunt, so. That way I'm not forcing you to have that unlocked. And you can swap out these skills accordingly. You don't need that attack boost, to be, if I'm being completely honest with you. You can swap that for basically any comfortable skills you like. And mostly the flint shots are doing the work. Um, oh, the point of stinger capacity is quite important too. Because it lets you do two flint shots per stones you pick up. Which makes the run much, much, much more convenient. If you're not interested in sleep. Uh, if you're not worried about trying to time the sleep to do something clever. Well, first of all, you can take a sleep weapon on your palico. Because you don't have to worry about it. The reason I didn't, by the way, is because I didn't want the palico sleep interfering with my own bog and sleep so I could proc it when I wanted. But anyway, if you're not interested in sleep, you can take the Horn King Blazooka. Uh, it has slightly more or less DPS. I think it's a tiny bit less DPS if you run Health Regen 2, a tiny bit more if you run uh, Health Regen 1 Attack Boost 3. Um, but this way you can get Health Regen 2 on the set at the cost of a very slight loss of DPS and also the inability to shoot sleep ammo. Um, this set's slightly different, uh, still Frostcraft obviously, it's just the decorations have been jiggled around a bit. You can see I got a little bit more recovery up and also I'm running non-elemental uh, non boost. I forgot to put a uh, sling capacity on this version of the set because I decided against using it because I like the sleep. Um, so take off one of these attack jewels and put on a uh, slinger capacity decoration, which I can't find. There we go. Um, yeah, so very standard stuff. I take enough affinity to get me to minus 10%, which means that when agitate is active and agitate will pretty much always be active with this run type. Uh, that 10% goes to zero and then crit draw takes me to 100. Uh, obviously, I'm going to be doing draw attacks. I'm using the heavy bow gun uh, clutch claw stuff. Um, those count as draw attacks and, and crit boost. Yeah, so it's, it's all very self-explanatory, hopefully. Um, oh, I don't even have mantles in this set. I didn't save this one properly, but it's the same mantles. You, you get the idea. Uh, rock steady and temporal. So hopefully that explains everything you need to know to pull off this run. It is pretty consistent. The most sort of biggest cause of issues for me is getting the headbangs off on the walls. However, because of the sleep ammo, you basically have a whole extra sleep and so a whole extra two attempts. And it definitely pays to play it a little bit safer. You probably saw me. There are a few opportunities I could have gone for wall bangs, but I didn't. And that's because I wanted to play it safe and, and, and get off a nice opportunity. The way I like to do it is have Alatron facing to the left rather than directly at the wall. Uh, and then Chloron, after one of his attacks, use a claw swipe uh, and then in the hit stun of that, use the uh, flint shot to launch him into the wall. It stops him from using an attack to get out of the way. 
But uh, yeah, uh, it's 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 hopefully that video footage was fairly self-explanatory. So yeah, that is enough to make uh, I think three pieces of his armor that don't need the tail, and also every single one of his weapons. Uh, the mantle drop is obviously a little bit rare, um, but it's a little bit rare even if you complete the hunts. And given that we were done with this run after basically three minutes, um, if you don't need the mantles or the horns, and if you do need them, it takes a little bit longer. But uh, even this run that took us six and a bit minutes really was only five minutes at most because I kind of dicked around for a bit at the end with sleep armor and stuff. So yeah, it's it's a really efficient run and uh, and, it, and it gives you a reasonable uh, number of drops. We ended up getting four from the Palico. Uh, I got three shinies there, but I've seen more than that. And then obviously the two part breaks. So that is a good nearly 10 items per run. Uh, and given that it only took five minutes and it's basically guaranteed success, really not that bad at all. So yeah. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and otherwise, I hope you have a lovely day. Take it easy. Bye-bye.